Urban Local, a full sensor suite dataset for mapping and localization in urban scenes. This is a joint work by the Hong Kong Polytechnic University and the University of California, Berkeley. Nowadays, for driverless cars, there are four essential components. Localization, perception, decision-making, and control. As a fifth component, mapping, provide essential functions for localization, and these two parts together play an essential role for all the future tasks. There are some shared components with these two modules, for example, the sensor. Typical sensors for these two parts are the Global Navigation System, GNSS, the cameras, the LiDARs, and the Inertia Measurement Unit, the IMU. However, all of these sensors suffer to some extent in an urban environment. We will see an example in next clip. Show here is our data collection vehicle in Chinatown of downtown San Francisco. First of all, this silver car trying to cross the street may create occlusions for our LiDAR or cameras. And the tall buildings on the two sides of the road create an urban canyon, which limits our satellite visibility. Furthermore, these high-rise structures may create multipath problems for satellite receivers. Lastly, the IMU sensor in the vehicle may drift over time. To provide some valuable resources for the mapping and the localization community, we have created this large-scale full sensor suite dataset targeting on the urban mapping and localization problems. We have collected over 40 kilometers in highly urbanized areas such as Hong Kong and San Francisco. We also carried a full sensor suite including LiDAR, IMU, cameras, and GNSS. We also defined a new urbanization measure for mapping and localization in various landscapes. Shown here is a comparison of the urban local dataset with some other publicly available autonomous driving dataset in the world. The urban local is collected in highly urbanized areas such as San Francisco and Hong Kong. We have traveled a total of 40 kilometers and the longest trajectory was of 13.8 kilometers. As for onboard sensors, we carry LiDAR, 360 cameras, IMUs, and GNSS. It is worth to notice that the GNSS system on our vehicle carries raw data measurement from each satellite, which is particularly valuable for GNSS researchers in the field. Here comes more details of the data collection platform. In Hong Kong, the data collection vehicle is a Honda Fit. Over the vehicle, we have a Velodyne 32 line LiDAR, an Exxon's MTI 10 IMU, a U-Blocks MIT providing the raw measurement from satellite, and also a fisheye camera. The ground truth for the Hong Kong side is coming from a span CPT. For the California side, we have a Toyota Prius as our testing vehicle. Over the car, we have a RoboSense R32 LiDAR, an Exxon's IMU, a U-Blocks MIT providing the raw measurement from satellite, and six FLIR camera providing 360 view around the vehicle. The ground truth is also coming from a span CPT-7 measurement. In both Hong Kong and San Francisco, we have traveled through some of the most diversified landscapes. In Hong Kong, we went through the highly urbanized Kowloon Tong and Ma Tau Kok to less urbanized Wong Pa. In San Francisco, we went from the less urbanized Golden Gate Bridge, the Bay Bridge, all the way to the highly urbanized Market Street, Mission Street, Chinatown. We also traveled some interesting scenes such as the Lombard Street and Koi Tower. Beyond the dataset, we also created a new definition of urbanization ratings for mapping and localization. In the rating, we have two parameters, the mean elevation angle, which is an average of the elevation angle across 360 degrees. We also have the standard deviation for the elevation angle, which tells you how much the elevation angle is varying across 360 degrees. Based on our new definition of urbanization, we compared our urban local dataset in Hong Kong 
with Kitty in Karlsruhe, Robocar in Oxford, and Waymo dataset in Sunnyvale. Among all these datasets, Urban Local has the highest mean elevation angle, and we also have the relatively large covariance in this sense. This data was coming from Google Earth or our point to sky fisheye camera. We have also tested a few state-of-the-art mapping and localization algorithms for our dataset. Shown here is an experiment on Market Street, San Francisco. The Market Street has a lot of traffic and tall buildings. The whole trajectory is of 5.9 kilometers. We have tested LOM, LiDAR odometry and mapping, VINs, the Visual Inertia Navigation System, and NDT the normal distribution transformation for LiDAR point clouds. It could be seen in the plot that all these algorithms are subjected to significant drift. Furthermore, it is interesting to see that LiDAR-based methods perform particularly poor on height estimation. Shown here is another testing done on Russian Hill, San Francisco. Russian Hill is a hilly district with a lot of traffic and structures. The whole trajectory is of 3.2 kilometers and the same algorithms performed poorly on this map as well. Lastly, we have tested some LiDAR-based algorithms in Wampa, Hong Kong. Wampa, Hong Kong has a lot of traffic with tall structures as well, and both algorithms are performing poorly in this map as well. For more testings, please check our original paper. To access our dataset, you can visit our official data website shown here. You can also Google for the urban local dataset for easier access. Beyond all the data, you can also get access to calibration files, platform designs, hardware lists, etc. As a conclusion, we have created a large-scale full-sensor suite dataset targeting specifically on the urban mapping and the localization problems. We have defined a new urbanization measure for mapping the localization in various landscapes. All the data and calibration files are available through the official website. Thank you for your interest in our presentation and dataset. For more information, please contact the corresponding author or leave a message on our website. Thank you.